everyone, it's Jess. Today for Art Lab, we are going to talk about Maria Sibylla Marion, and we're going to do an art project inspired by her work. Maria was born on April 2nd, 1647 in Germany. She was an artist, naturalist, which means she studied nature, and an entomologist, which means she studied bugs. She loved bugs from an early age, and as an adult, she traveled to the country of Suriname, which is located in South America, to observe and draw new species of plants and animals, especially bugs. She discovered how caterpillars changed into butterflies, also known as metamorphosis. Her illustrations were so detailed that people thought the bugs would jump right off the page. When Maria returned home to Europe, she published a book with all of her illustrations of plants and animals from her time in the jungles of South America. Maria was an explorer and will always be known in the science and art world for her detailed drawings of nature and for helping people understand bugs better. Did you know that before Maria discovered the metamorphosis of a butterfly, Many people believe that bugs grew from dead things, or poop. Maria was highly regarded in both the art and science world, so much that she was even featured on German money, like you see here. Now on to making our own art. If you picked up one of our kits, you'll notice that you have a notebook, a pencil, pen, magnifying glass, and some examples of Maria's illustrations. However, if you did not get a chance to pick up a kit, all you need is some paper and either a pen or pencil to draw with. When you have your supplies, go outside and find a location to observe and draw. Some places you can draw are in a park, by a garden, in the woods, at a beach, or in your own backyard. Look around and find your subject matter, which is the thing you want to draw. Remember, you do not have to draw everything you see outside. Instead, you can focus on one thing and make it more detailed. You can choose a subject that stands out to you, like an interesting tree or a bug you have never seen before. Or it can be something you love, like your favorite flower or plant. Start to draw in your notebook. You may want to start drawing with a pencil, but you can always use other materials like a pen, colored pencil, or marker to draw your subject matter. When you are finished drawing in your notebook, try to write down the date and time. Other things you can write next to your drawing include what the weather was like, where you decided to draw, and a description of your subject. This will make looking back at your drawings more exciting. Continue to draw and write in your notebook until the pages are filled. You can also decorate the cover of your notebook to personalize it even more. Good luck on your nature drawing, and we'll see you at the next art lab.